Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. QuickBooks allows you to set up users and passwords for the individuals that will access your company file. You can also decide which types of activities users can perform and what areas of the application they can access. You can set up the users by selecting company from the menu bar, rolling down to set up users and passwords, and then choosing the Set Up Users command in QuickBooks 2010 through 2011, or by selecting Company and then choosing Set Up Users from the menu bar in QuickBooks 2003 through 2009. That will open the User List dialog box. In QuickBooks 2003, you will first need to create a master user, usually called Admin, that can access all of the areas of QuickBooks. That user account can then create the other user accounts. In QuickBooks 2004 through 2011, you typically create the admin user account during the Easy Step interview. That is then the default user account used for all activities until you create more user accounts. So after you're logged on as the admin user, you can then click the Add User button in the User List dialog box that appears to create additional profiles and decide which areas of the application the other users that you create will have access to by simply using the wizard provided. Within the wizard provided, you specify the username and password. You then click the Next button in each screen answering the questions posed. Now these screens allow you to decide what areas of the company file the user will have access to and what editing changes they can perform in each area to which access is granted. When you're finished, simply click the Finish button in the wizard to add the user account into the user list dialog box. Now you can also select a user account from the user list and then click the Edit User button to change the security settings for the selected user through the wizard provided. You can also select a user within the user list and then click the delete user button to delete the user. You will need to click yes to delete the selected user permanently. When you're finished with this dialog box you can click the close button to close it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.